Hello, it's Ben here coming to you from New York City. I know it has been a very long time since I have made a video, but I wanted to share a quick haul today. I have been kind of getting into, um, kind of, I've completely been getting into making mini albums. And I'll share a couple of the ones that I've made so far, but um, I did want to share this haul because I'm about to make a mini album out of this stuff. And before I did that, I wanted to go ahead and share it with you. You'll also notice this looks a little different than my videos in the past. I um, have a very small studio apartment in New York and I built a loft. So right now, what you're seeing here is a desk and I am under my bed. My bed is up above me. So I built this space so I could have like a really nice big craft area. This desk goes around in a big L. Um, so I've got plenty of space. So um, let's go ahead and get started with the quick haul. Um, I want to show this stuff. Okay, so the first thing I got was a couple of punches. Now I already opened this one, but this is a big edge punch by Fiskars. You can kind of see it's got the little bracket kind of pattern. Um, I like this to make kind of the sides of the pages when I um, do my mini albums. So this was $10.97 on Amazon. All this stuff was from Amazon. I also got this, just a really plain EK Tools, um, one inch circle punch. So this was $5.99, which I thought was a pretty good deal actually, um, compared to what you usually see at Michael's. Um, I then got, I'm going to make this mini album out of this Tim Holtz Ideology, um, and this is from the um, Crowded Attic line. And I really love these papers. Um, they're all double-sided, so for the most part on the 12x12 12 12 designs, the back is just a kind of distressed looking solid, if you can see that. So you've got this, you've got some number panels here. These are like little times tables, like a ledger, some building sort of architectural schematics, these butterflies. These are just different little um, product labels, some old school scripty stuff. You know, and I really like the theme. It is like crowded attic. Like it's just all the kind of stuff you'd find in an old attic, a map, some pictures of, of old timey looking people, uh, some sort of dress patterns, these little kind of sewing knickknacks like buttons and needles and thread, safety pins, this button, I love this page, this is so cool. These little number tags. So it's really nice. And you got some rulers, some alphas, um, and then you get into sort of like the Look, this is really cool, all these different paints. Um, and this is like little test tubes with corks. Um, then you get into six by six designs. And on the back too, you'll notice that even the solids are in a six by six. So these are really meant to be cut up. And basically it's six by six versions of the papers we just saw. So I'll just go through those quickly. Then you get to these little two by two snippets and they are identical on the back and the front. So those are cool. And you get some journaling cards and some edges. So all in all, a pretty cool paper pack. So I, that was $9.99, which I thought was a pretty good deal for 36 sheets. The paper is pretty thick, um, not super thick, but not thin either kind of normal scrapbooking white paper. And then I also got these um, Crowded Attic stickers. Now these were $6.87 and you know a lot of times when you get sticker sets it's just one or two pages so I thought man $6.87 is really expensive. But I was like you know what I'm gonna get it anyways because it goes with this paper and I really want some things. Well you know what it is I think seven big sheets of stickers so all in all, I think it ends up being like close to 400 stickers, so totally worth it. Two different sets of alphas here. One that kind of looks like printing press, and then another one that looks a little more wooden. And again, these very much line up with the papers, right? You've got these numbers and these tags, um, the butterflies, the little 
sort of um, product labels here. And then you've got, again, some art, the architectural designs. You've got the map. And these are pretty thick. These are definitely like cardstock stickers. You've got some of these rulers that you could use as borders, maybe. Um, and then some of the buttons, you know. So very nice stickers. Um, I also ordered, I'm making a pretty big mini album, so I also ordered, just to make sure I had enough paper, the 8x8 paper pad, which I imagine is going to look very similar to these pages. So, um, I um, am pretty happy with this, and um, uh, hopefully we'll be back soon sharing my mini album. Talk to you soon. Bye.